Hey, how's it going? I'm Alex and welcome to Remixed Reviews. Uh, it's been a while since we at Comics Remix have put out any videos on uh, YouTube or our website. We do apologize for that. We were just restructuring in the direction we wanted to go. We ended up getting uh, new lighting, new equipment. Uh, we have new things to talk about, uh, new things to review. So uh, with that being said, we're back and I can't wait to sh talk about the very first thing on the agenda, which for me... Uh, something that I used to love. I'm not a huge wrestling fan like I used to be, but I do understand the the fans of today, their passion and their joy for it. Uh, I was a big fan right around WrestleMania 1 through maybe around uh, 7 or 8. Uh, maybe a little longer, I can't really remember. But um, I was in the store the other day and I found something that really brought back uh, nostalgia for me. And it probably opened up the floodgate for me to start collecting more. And that would be Sergeant Slaughter. To, uh, Hall of Fame 2004 Elite version. I really think this thing is awesome. I love the connection that Sergeant Slaughter had to G.I. Joe. I was a big fan of both. And um, these figures, over time, I've noticed have been way more uh, thought of when it comes to articulation, paint, design. I can't wait to crack this puppy open. Uh, this has opened the gates. I'm starting to look for more figures from my era, Hogan, Macho Man, The Warrior, Legion of Doom, even like the British Bulldogs I was a big fan of. Uh, weird ones too, like Brutus the Bar, Beefcake, even like a brand new Brown. Anyways, like I said, I was a huge fan. Not so much now, but this is something I can't wait to open, so let's review this right now. So the packaging is a pretty standard Elite figure. It is the Hall of Fame series. Uh, it does include the three things that make him Sergeant Slaughter give, uh, finish his costume, which is the hat, the glasses, and the whistle. It is the Class of 2004 Hall of Fame. There are others to this. If you guys want to see, they got Stone Cold, The Warrior, and Trish Stratus, uh, who I believe Trish and this figure, Slaughter, are one per case. I could be mistaken, but at last I checked. If you guys want to read the bio, go ahead. Just go ahead and hit pause right there. 2004. Uh, standard packaging for the Hall of Fame series. Uh, really, really cool. I like it. It stands out. And now uh, let's open this bad boy because I can't wait to see the figure. So here we have Sergeant Slaughter looking very, very good. He's roughly standing about seven and a half inches tall. Overall, the look is extremely well detailed, especially when it comes over to the face. Look at the side, the way all that detail, that chin, that mean mugging. They even detailed the comb over with some brown and black touch-up paint, which looks very, very good. Uh, the body is pretty similar to the way he looked back then. Paint job is pretty, pretty decent. I'm kind of happy with it. There are a few little blemishes, one right there, a little bit here on the belt. But overall, very, very good. Even the sculpting of the boots with the paint job of the laces, everything, the sculpting of the knee. They did a good job giving him some wrinkle on the back over here, which I thought was really good. His biceps, everything about this figure is very, very well done. <clears throat> they've actually, uh, when it comes to these elite figures, I don't think they've been disappointing as of late. I'm really happy with them. I don't own many, but uh, this was the first one that I picked up. And like I said, this is the one that opened the floodgates. He came with his hat, his signature hat, which I really like. It's a pretty good detail right there. See if I can get a zoom in on that. You know, I also came with his sunglasses, which I thought was really cool, and his trademark whistle. And I'll put those on in a second. As far as the the uh, articulation goes, he does have the double jointed knee, which I really like. His uh, his ankle has a very small pivot next to non-existent. His foot does not go up or down. He does have the upper thigh swivel, waist swivel, and the crunch, but it's very, very minimal. Uh, it goes back quite a bit, but forward as well. His head does go up and down, also not very much, but I'm okay with all that. It does have the 360 arm, the 90 degree elbow, the wrist swivel. Pretty basic, um, but overall, extremely, extremely happy with this look. I just thought they did a really great job when in getting the overall image of Sergeant Slaughter. Let's go ahead. I really like the fact that his glasses go on pretty good. They don't tend to slip off. They grip pretty well behind the ear. You can put his whistle on, which is I probably should have put on first. So let's put the whistle. Let's get those glasses on, which are, like I said, they go on pretty good. Even like that, it looks pretty good. But once you put the hat, you get that 
G.I. Joe-esque Sergeant Slaughter that everyone recognizes, everyone likes. I got to say, man, this figure is very, very, very cool. I really think they did a great job with this one. It is a Hall of Fame series, an elite figure for 2004. It came out, I think, this year. I think uh, maybe late last year, but I'm, I know for sure you could, uh, I think it's one per case. But I highly, highly recommend this figure. I think overall... He's awesome, represents the 80s, represents wrestling, and in my opinion, represents um, essence of the G.I. Joe. If you like what you see, don't forget to uh, hit the like button. Please leave your comments below. Also, don't forget to visit us at comicsremix.com. Uh, definitely uh, stay tuned. We'll be coming with a lot more reviews. We have podcasting coming up with Junior Ruiz. I can't wait for, to hear some of those and also uh, some uh, interviews. So please uh, stay tuned, and I will see you next time. I cannot stay here too long before my machine friends will become nervous and do something rash.